Hamilton. And I want to let you know about a habitat that is under threat right here on the banks of the beautiful River Lagan. Yes, that's right. Johnny and I, you know Johnny, my husband. Yes, well, we're hoping to buy one of the lovely new homes that is supposed to be being built just over there. But some dreadful people are threatening our habitat and that of other would-be buyers by trying to stop the plans going ahead. I mean, what is wrong with people? Who wouldn't want to live in this gorgeous part of the world? For goodness sake, it's designated as an area of outstanding natural beauty. Think the Lake District, think the Cotswolds. It's part of the Lagan Valley Regional Park and it's actually situated in a site of local nature conservation interest, or Slinky as it's known, right on the edge of Beaver Forest. Yes, I am literally standing in a Beaver Slinky. No sniggering, Simon, please, this is serious. I mean, wouldn't everyone love to live in an 800,000 pounds house in this beautiful, unspoilt environment? Well, I say unspoiled, obviously, apart from the land being gouged out to build the houses and the trees being cut down to allow the building and uh, the meadow behind the actual building site where the developer has been dumping huge mounds of soil and destroying the informal pathways that have allowed the public access to the meadow here for as long as anyone can remember. I mean, <coughs> apart from that, it's pristine. And I have to say, if there was anything wrong with the proposal, well, you know, the Belfast City Council Planning Department, it's not as if they'd turn a blind eye to it, would they? And yes, yes, of course I know about the City Council's commitment to planting a million trees, not cutting them down. And yes, of course I know that the City Council has declared a climate emergency and they're committed to protecting the biodiversity of green spaces in the city, which of course we all know there aren't enough of. And yes, of course it may seem as if the planning department is going against its very own council's stated aims and objectives for the environment and the climate, but come on. We're talking about some very elegant detached houses that will attract a better class of resident. And anyway, what's the point in having lovely views if you can't enjoy them from your very own private terrace? A terrace, I might add, where Johnny and I will have a handmade South American chimenea burning logs made out of real wood. I mean, if that's not nature in the raw, I don't know what is. <laughs> we'll have to invite Bear Grylls over for a fork supper. <laughs> Although, he'd probably eat with his hands, wouldn't he? Uh, well, I can always put out the second best napkins, yeah. So listen, all you people objecting, don't come whining to me about, oh, the city council is having discussions with the developer and the public hasn't been invited to join the discussions. Why would they invite you when they know you're just going to cause problems? Listen, if you want to get ahead and win the game, take a leaf out of the developer's book. You see, he realised that the site, if it was over two hectares, would demand a 12-week public consultation, so he's brought it in at 1.98 hectares. <laughs> and in fact, this proposal is the second of two, and the whole thing's closer to four hectares, so he got away without having to have a public consultation about either of them. You see, it's that clever ability to stick within the letter of the law that lets you get ahead in this world. Don't be getting bogged down and distracted with silly things like ethics and conscience. That's a loser's game. You know, thank goodness Northern Ireland doesn't have an independent environmental protection agency, which might actually have enough teeth to stop this proposal from getting approval on the basis that it's completely out of step with the world we live in now. Ugh. Professional do-gooders nightmare. Thankfully, most of the objecting has been left up to a motley band of individuals trying to do it in their spare time. And do you know their reason for trying to defy progress? Oh, apparently it's because they live nearby and use this place on a daily basis. Honestly, some people are so entitled. So listen, let's all get on to the Belfast 
City Council Planning Department's portal website and make our feelings known about this proposal for Lag and Land East. Because, you know, if you won't protect our threatened habitat, who will? <laughs>